Hey everybody, we're about to give you another medical assessment for the NREMT checkoff with an actual student, so follow along. All right, so this is your medical assessment scenario. Uh, you are dispatched to a sick person at a private residence. This is a 67 year old male. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put my PPE on and I'm gonna do BSI scene safety. Is the scene safe? The scene is safe. Okay, um, how many patients are there? Just you have one? one patient. <clears throat> Okay, what is the nature of illness? Sick person. Okay. Um, I'm going to request additional ALS assistance and I'm going to consider spinal stabilization, but due to the mechanism of injury, I'm not going to take precautions. Okay. Um, okay, as I walk up to the scene, what do I see? So you walk into a private residence, it's well kept. Your patient is sitting in his living room on his recliner as you see him right now. Okay. Um, as I walk up to him, does he track me? He does. Um, okay, I'm going to say, hello, sir, I'm an EMT. What is your name? My name's Wade. Okay. Um, Wade, what year is it? Uh, 2025. And can you tell me where you are? My house. Okay, and what happened leading up to this call? Well, I was watching TV, and my wife said, you sound like crap when you're breathing, so she called you. Okay. Um, do I see any... Um, massive bleeding. No, you do not. Okay. And Wade, what is your chief complaint? What's I'm just having here? a hard time catching my breath. Okay. I'm going to assess his airway. Um, do I see any secretions in his mouth? No, you do not. Okay. So airway is patent. I do not need to consider an adjunct at this time. Um, breathing. What is his rate, rhythm, and quality of breathing? <laughs> so he's breathing about 20 times a minute, regular rhythm, and adequate depth. Okay. Um, I'm going to... His talking sounds a little bit odd, so I'm going to listen to lung sounds at this point. Okay, so you listen to lung sounds, you hear ronchi in the bases and clear up top. Okay. Um, I'm going to give him a non rebreather at 15 liters per minute okay. because he's having difficulty breathing. Um, and then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to check his circulation. What is his pulse rate rhythm quality? You can assess it there. So he has a pulse rate of 110. It's regular. It's strong. Okay. And what is his skin color, temperature, and condition? It is pink, hot to the touch, and dry. <coughs> um, okay. I'm going to... Oh, once again, I see no external bleeding. No external okay. bleeding. Um, at this point, I'm going to get have my partner get a base set of vitals while I determine his priority to be um, high. Okay. And vitals for, can I get a blood pressure? Blood pressure is 142 over 70. Okay, heart rate? Heart rate is 110. Respiratory rate? Respiratory rate is 20. SpO2? SpO2 is 90%, but coming up on that non-rebreather. Okay. Uh, I'll get a blood glucose as well. Blood glucose is 95. 95. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to get a sample history. So signs and symptoms, what are your most prevalent symptoms? I just can't catch my breath. Okay. Um, do you have any allergies? Shellfish. Okay. Have you had any shellfish recently? No. Okay. Are you on any medications? The doctors gave me an antibiotic last week. I don't remember what it's called. Um, and so what was that antibiotic for? Uh, he said I was, I've was i been sick and he said there's something with my chest going on. Do you have any other medical history I should know about? Uh, no, I'm a smoker. Okay, what was your last oral intake? Dinner last night. Okay. Have you been going to the bathroom regularly? Yes, ma'am. And what were you doing leading up to this? Just watching my shows. Okay. Um, okay. So now I'm going to move into my secondary assessment. Okay. Um, 
going to ask, when did this start? When did your difficulty rating start? Uh, probably the last couple of days, but as I've gotten more sick, it's felt worse. Okay. And does anything make it better? Uh, not moving. Okay. And what would you say the quality of your discomfort is? Is it sharp pain? Is it just general dullness? No pain. Oh, just okay. having a hard time breathing. Um, is it just in your chest or is it the... It's mostly in my chest. chest. Um, so very, it's not that applicable, but how discomfortable are you right now? I'd say probably a seven. Seven. And... Has it been constant since the difficulty breathing started, or does it get better and worse? It's been pretty constant. Okay. Maybe even getting worse. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and so you said it been get, it's been getting worse. Um, do you have any associated? You said just difficulty breathing. Do you have associated chest pain? No. No. Um, when you cough, are you coughing anything up? Any sputum? Yeah, kind of like a gross green phlegm color. Okay. And. Do you feel tired talking right now? A little bit. You can say a couple words at a time, it seems. Yeah, about that. Okay. And are you tired of, are you physically tired of breathing right now? Mm, not terrible. Okay. <laughs> and if I asked you to walk to the door right now, do you think you could? Uh, with some of them strapping firefighters, yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, so you said, okay, I'm going to listen. So in the long sounds I listened, I heard Ronkai earlier and yes. clear upper. Do I still hear that? Same as before. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay. And you said you were ill recently, just a general sickness. Yeah. You weren't. I think it was a cold that this cold? got worse. Okay. Um, and you're a smoker, you said? Yes, ma'am. Have you had any complications with that in the past? No, not really. Except for running out of cigarettes. <laughs> okay. Have you ever had any illness like this before? Mm, a long time ago. They said I, I, something with my chest just made it harder to breathe. Okay. Mm, they no. didn't really tell me what it was. Have you ever had asthma or anything? No, no asthma. No COPD? No, ma'am. Okay. Um... Is your breathing, is his breathing improving on the non-rebreather? It does seem to be improving overall. Okay. Um, based on the green sputum he's coughing up, it seems like it's an infection of some sorts okay. in my eyes. Um, and so we're already transporting in priority. Um, I don't think there's any medication I would give at this point. Okay. Aside from the oxygen? Yes, besides the oxygen. Okay. Um, because it doesn't seem to be COPD or asthma. Okay. Um, so if you had 15 minutes left in your transport, how would you utilize that time? And is there anything else you would like to do? Okay, yeah. I'm going to um, reassess his vital signs every fifth, every five minutes. So I'll get another set of vitals <laughs> saying we're five minutes in. Okay. So another set of vitals. Blood pressure comes back 138 over 72. SpO2 is 99% on that oxygen. Heart rate is still 110. Respiratory <laughs> rate is down to about 16 Okay. Um, and I'm also going to reassess his ABC. So is his airway still clear? His airway is still clear. Um, breathing, you said, was at 16. Is it improving? Uh, overall, his work with breathing does seem to be improved. Okay. And circulation, his pulse, his heart rate is still at 110. Correct. Um, what is his skin color and condition like right now? Still pink, hot to the touch, and dry. Okay. And once again, no bleeding. No bleeding. See. Okay, and I'm going to do that every five minutes. Okay. Go ahead and give me your report. Okay. Um, we have, oh, hospital, this is medic one. Go ahead. Um, we have a 67-year-old male, chief complaint of feeling sick, um, <laughs> difficulty breathing noted upon arrival. Um, his, um, okay, his vital signs upon arrival was blood pressure of 142 over 70, Heart rate of 110 beats per minute, regular, strong. Um, respiratory rate of 20 with adequate depth, depth and rhythm. Um, lung sound showed ronchi with clear upper. 
um, airway, and his SpO2 was 90. He was put on supplemental oxygen um, with rapid transport. Um, no, oh, past medical conditions. He was ill recently and prescribed an antibiotic. Um, he has been feeling the difficulty breathing for the last few days, but it's been getting worse. Um, he has green sputum as he coughs up. The field impression is a lung infection of some sort. Um, on oxygen, his condition improved with blood pressure being 138 over 72, heart rate 110, um, respiratory rate down to 16, and SpO2 at 99. Any questions? No questions. See you when you get here. Okay, five minutes out. All right. How do you think they went? Um, I think it went pretty well. I was kind of like, I didn't think there was anything to treat, so. I mean, he treated him with oxygen yeah. and transport, right? It's yeah. more of a recognition in this instance. He did a really good job. Um, so he's got, you know, good scene size up. He walked in, got all the points there. Great primary airway, breathing, circulation. You put him on oxygen early. Uh, got a good set of vitals. Maybe a temperature on him. Okay. Right? Feels okay. hot, set, touch. Get a good temperature on this guy. Uh, your history taking was great. Really good history. Uh, your secondary, I gave you all the points on that, which not many people do. Um, so you did the pace mnemonic, which is really good, as well as trying to get in a good OPQRST. Uh, you listened to lung sounds multiple times, which is super important with this guy. Um, you know, asking about his effort, his positioning, mm -hmm. recent illness. You, you pretty much got it all. Yeah. So really good job on that. Um, and then, yeah, stating your field impression, which was accurate lung infection, probably of some sort, right? So thinking maybe a pneumonia on this yeah. guy, right? And so... You even ask about, you know, sputum color and all that kind of stuff, right? So very thorough, um, reassessing every five minutes, rapid transport, reassessing the ABCs really well. Um, and then in your report, maybe just shorten it up a okay. bit, right? It was a little bit long-winded, but uh, other than that, I thought you did a great job. Okay. So, yeah, Thank good you. job. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Um, my big thing is temperature coming back to it, right? If, yeah. if you note something that's like not the normal, yeah. let's investigate, right? Okay. So hot to the touch, you kind of should know where that's going yeah. right at this point. Um, but yeah, I'll say that. Did a really good job. Okay. Yeah. Thank good you. Job. So that was the medical assessment for the NRAMT. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, send us a comment. As always, like and subscribe.